last quick tutorial, we talked about Adobe's new multi-frame rendering support in the render queue for After Effects. In this tutorial, we will discuss some variables that can affect rendering speed given the new context of multi-frame rendering. Let's start with the AE project settings. Go to File, Project Settings, and Video Rendering and Effects. We will discuss GPU acceleration. On a Mac, you'll see Mercury GPU Acceleration Metal, and on Windows, you'll see Mercury GPU Acceleration CUDA and OpenCL. Some AE plugins that utilize the Mercury engine would use this menu, and these are their GPU choices. For our plugins, this menu does not affect our GPU menu, so we don't care which option you leave it on. It's irrelevant for our tools. Next, we can go to the Color tab. If you don't need 32 bits per channel, you can change it to 8 or 16 bits here, which will save you some extra unnecessary processing time. Okay, that's it for project settings. Next, we can go to Preferences, Import, and there is this checkbox next to Enable Hardware Accelerated Decoding. For some formats, it will use your graphics card to decode the image. If you leave it checked, the video decoder will use GPU resources, which can be taxing on your GPU. If you uncheck the box, it will not use hardware acceleration. Now we can go to Preferences, Memory and Performance. In general, you'll want to keep the box checked next to Enable Multi-Frame Rendering. If you're using large files, you can increase the RAM allocation. By default, it's only about 3. You will know if it's not enough memory if your render fails and the error is due to not enough memory. Then you'll come back here and increase the amount. If it still doesn't work, then you can turn off multi-frame rendering. Next, I'll apply deflicker. You see, in our tools, in the effects controls, we have an option that says Use GPU with a pull-down menu. Off, on, or on if GPU is supported, CPU otherwise. If I choose on, it says to use the GPU. Since we're not using Adobe API for GPU, we have this new checkbox for less GPU memory. If we check this box, it means that only one frame will render at the same time per GPU that you have in your machine. To be clear, there are still multiple frames rendering at the same time from After Effects. It just means that our own tool is not processing more than one frame at a time when we're in GPU mode. We're still processing between one to eight frames at once with multi-frame rendering, but when it gets to our effect, it will just render one frame per GPU at a time. So if they are the same model GPU, one frame for one GPU, two frames for two GPUs, and so on. We can see here if we add our comp to render queue and select render and go to the info menu, you can see that in this particular case, it's rendering four frames at once. So these are a few variables that can have an effect on your rendering speed. You can save time by reviewing these options prior to processing. Mm -hmm.